Hey, everybody, welcome back to Bug Snacks. Bug Snacks. If you don't look out, they will attack. I know. Didn't write that one myself. Thanks to the YouTube comment that suggested it. Keep them coming. I will sing songs for free. Here I am. Uh, we need to help Wiggles here turn into some type of financial hairdo thing. I don't know what she... I don't know really what she wants or why, but... That's not my job. My job is just to help everyone be the, their best selves. First of all, need to find a panantula. Scanned and nailed. Fears the crabs. Now, here's the thing. I imagine if I was a betting man, if I put this trap here, it's not going to care. But if I can figure out... Oops. I know that's a snack trap. Thanks. It loves chocolate. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sling chocolate all over this beach. Oh, God. Wait, what? Oh. Come here. No! You got to be kidding me. Don't even think about it. Come here. Oh, I, now I scared the thing. Oh, what a nightmare. Watch him fling this thing, too. Oh, my God. This is already... Oh. oh, it's out. It's out. It's out. How do I get this? Ooh. Oh, my God. We had it for a second there. It's a couple of things that this thing does not like, apparently. Hey, let's see. He's scared of me. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Come on. Oh. What the? You know what? Totally intentional. That, that went about as amazing as I could have made it, okay? We got the job done. And that's really what matters. It doesn't matter how it happens. Doesn't matter how smooth it is. Doesn't matter if you get the crab thingy to chase the other it doesn't none of it matters okay here enjoy this we need to put it on the head what other options do we even have here hands arms okay you can't you're not gonna have any like weird panantula peen mm -hmm. Woo yeah that struck a chord with a new head i can think new thoughts that's the magic of bug snacks. It is now the magic of bug snacks. Now my creative juices can flow. Mm, I know I'm flowing. I'm flowing. TMI there, Wiggles. La, 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 la. Uh, ooh, this flow is more of a dribble. Oh, my God. I need you to turn it up, darling. Oh, my God. Buy me a grape skeeter. They're too fast for Grambler or I to catch, but maybe you can find a way to slow them down. <laughs> this is very uncomfortable. Some bug snacks are only around at certain times. You can scan evidence in the environment to get a clue about when to find them. Uh, okay, what can we scan? So we had theorized that before. We're obviously, oh, what's this? Grape Skeeto. Easy. This one plumps up and slows down if it eats another bug snacks. I gotta feed this or something? Or hold on. Maybe can I place this here? So yes, I can. Wait, how did she get out here? Hold on. What is it like? It likes chocolate. This one plumps up and slows down if it eats another bug snacks. How do I feed it? Wait, what are these now? Fruity Goop. Leafy glob is evidence of a bug snack. This bug snack seems to appear at night, but not when it's raining. Oh my god, they're so specific. Okay, but it doesn't matter because we need to catch those. How am I going to get that thing? Let's see. 
Oh, that almost worked out good. What if I feed it like a rasby? What do you like? Yes, okay. Hold on. Hold on, I have a theory here. Look. Get it! Oh my god, it's insane! They just eat each other! Oh my god, how do I get this back? Oh, we're, we're panicking. We're panicking. Just in time. <laughs> that was dark. We just watched a Razby get devoured. Absolutely devoured. Guys, by the way, let me know if the volume is weird in this one. I felt like at the beginning it was a little high. Hopefully it's better now. Enjoy. Let's balance you out a little bit here. Oh! I look fabulous. The colors are striking, no? And now the ideas will flow. Mm -hmm, they gonna flow. Ooh, any second now. Yeah, you and your now. flow. I get it. I assure you. Oh, oh, who am I kidding? I have nothing. There simply isn't a snack on this beach that can give me the inspiration that I need. Such a tragic artist. Which is why you should look in the desert. I need a look that pops. A look that's hot. Darling, I would be so delighted if you could go to the Scorched Gorge and catch two pop ticks. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously I will do that. Hey, how do I... How do I get these guys? Needs to be caught mid-leap. I don't know. We don't need him yet, so it doesn't matter. And also, we're going to switch and we're going to go talk to Befica. Let's pin that bad boy. And let's see what she is up to. I'm really concerned about the amount of people that are so into bug snacks. But... You know what? If you guys need it, I'm here. Okay? I'll do it. Because some of you guys, you're thinking, Oh, God, I really, really, really want more, more, just more bug snacks. But, like, I'm not going to play it myself. This is a child's game. This is a child's game. No, you know what? I will watch a grown adult man play this game on YouTube. That's what I'll do. Then it'll be way less embarrassing. And you know it. Right now, you're thinking, oh, frick, he's right. That's me. And you're right. That is you. And that's okay. I'm not judging, because who am I to judge? I'm the one playing the thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one playing it. And I'm enjoying every second of it, too. Now I feel like it might be a bit quiet. Oh, uh, we'll see. Hopefully this is okay. Bear with me if it's not. Welcome back. Now that Philbo and Wambus are gone, there are way more snacks around here. Well, yeah, there's only Scan two of us. all the snacks here, fill up your journal, then we can swap deets. Pretty simple math. <laughs> but don't be surprised if they're not all out at the same time. Bug snacks gotta sleep too. Scan six types of bug snacks in Garden Grove. Well, good news is uh, it's 7.46 p.m. When we were here last time... When we were here last time, uh, it was earlier. And I'm pretty sure we have all of these. So, it's 8.05. Let's see what happens here as the sun goes down. I don't know if she... Oh, she has a bed, right? Hold up. Hold up. Sleep until 5 a.m.? Let's sleep until midnight. She, she's not even... Eight. What is she doing? Does she never sleep? She's probably on some weird opioid. Okay. Now, questionable because it's midnight. All the same stuff is out. I'm just double checking.
Okay. So we got these three. This this time of day, this is not going to work. We're going to have to go early morning, I think. And we could just sit here and watch the moon and the sunrise. But we got things to do. We got people to see. We got bugs to snack on. 5 a.m. Look, still not even tired. I'm telling you. Something is wrong. A sweetie fly zips around fast enough to evade traps, but eventually sets down to rest. Okay, so there's one. One new thing. All the others are still out, so maybe there's some that are, like, always here. And then... Oh, is that... Is that other one that we saw there? Is that the same thing? Yeah. Okay. This pile of sugar and sticks is the evidence of a bug snack. Seems to appear during the day, not when it's raining. Yeah, so this whole rain thing we're gonna need to manage. Like, this is a very complex, very deep game, you guys. Wait, is that daytime too? Okay, daytime, not raining. So I'm gonna go to sleep again. We're gonna hit noon. And if it's raining, well, I'll be choked. Come on, no rain? Beautiful. Now, there might be some that only come out in the rain. That's also possible. Okay, so sweetie flies, candy patches. Maybe they're hiding in like weird spots. We need to infiltrate. Well, now I'm starting to get real concerned because I'm pretty sure when we came here last time, it was about seven something. Appears during the day, but not when raining. And I'm pretty sure these are just like these sweetie fly poops. So I need to keep looking. Unless there's stuff potentially back here. This could be a thing. Oh! White strabby. Exactly the kind. Exactly like the strabby in every other way except the pale color. Oh, yeah. We're back in this area. That's why. And weenie worms. <laughs> it's disgusting. Loves ketchup. Okay. Glad we checked. Could have been there a while. That wouldn't have been embarrassing. <laughs> I never do anything wrong. OMG, you really got them all. OMG is right. I knew I picked the right Grumpus. Not that I'm surprised. After all, I've read all your articles. Even if I don't believe in the Grumpa Cabra or whatever, your interviews were always on point. Always got to have the subtle too. jab in there. You've got a way of digging up the truth out of the lies. But enough about you. Let's talk Befica. Yeah, I, want I you love to talking use that Befica. journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. And feed it to me, Obs. Obs. Scope out and catch Befica's favorite bug snack. Don't you have something here? Yeah, you like weenie dogs. Of course. Of course you do. You want to eat weenie dogs in your giant empty cave. Strange. Good thing we know where the hot dogs reside. Uh, I'm just going to plop this trap down. And... Oh, okay. He gets really freaked. Over here, bud. I'll feed him so much ketchup. Now, wait a sec. Oh, uh, okay. That changes things. What the heck? Did he just explode out of fear? <laughs> he might have. Okay. He's back. He's back. He's back. How do we catch him? 
This thing gets things out of holes. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe. Uh, let's try some. Let's put him down here. Let's shoot him with a little catch-up action. Okay. And then uh, we'll guide you over there. See if this dude follows. Maybe he won't even notice. Okay, that's clearly not working. That's clearly not working. So what am I going to do? Hey, this dude, first of all. I might just do this to shut him down. I might need to get one of those bungers or something up here. I might need a bunger to, like, come and stun it, and then I can get it. Because he's not chasing the ketchup. At all. Alright, white strabby. Let me see. Let me see if I can get one of these bad boys. This would be the longest journey. Actually, I could do it a more efficient journey with the buggy ball. So smart. So smart. Come on up. Oh, of course. No, of course. You can't go up the stairs. That would be too easy. Okay, hold up. Come on back. New plan. <laughs> Can you go up the stairs? Okay, he can't go up the stairs. So that means... That means we're going to have to figure this out with our brain. He's only motivated by ketchup. Let's see what we can learn about this. Nothing. 15,000 calories of amazing. Oh, look, now that actually shows the times, too. 4 a.m. to 4 p.m.? It's kind of cool. Oh, what am I going to do? Not that, clearly. I mean, sometimes the simplest solution... Sometimes the simplest solution is the right one. You know? Try to get too complex. You want to, like, teleport a bunger over there. Like, just sometimes just catch it, man. Just don't be there and just catch the bug snack. It's that easy. Here you go. Weenie worm. Missed opportunities, I'm telling you, with these placements, but that's fine. Uh, let's give you a, let's give you a whole weenie arm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Knew you'd like that. Good answer. You really get me. I know you're just doing this stuff for me because you want me back in Snacksburg, but I don't mind. Good. If you really want to be besties with me, I want some dirt. Wambus X totally mysterious before he goes to bed around 10 every night. Ooh, is that right? I want you to find out what he's up to. And tell me, if you don't want to wait around, you can always just take a nap until it's time. <laughs> That's suspicious. I know what he does between 10 p.m. and 1 a.m. Oh, fine. Okay, you know what? I will do that. This time's gonna fly so fast, isn't it? 12.05. I can't believe that. I can't believe that I'm conspiring with Befica to spy on him. I don't even like Befica, for one. Number two, she just assumes I'm going to do it. Oh, wow. She's right, but I don't How like that she assumes it. <gasps> There's a balloon? Huh. Lobo, you know, I it, don't it have time right now. just a little bit um, exploded, but mm -hmm. I'm sure we can patch that up eventually. Yeah, uh, that's my ship, though, so, you know. Oh, it's yours? You travel in style, buddy. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I I'd love to fly it someday. Yeah, sure. When I'm willing to sacrifice the entire neighborhood, we'll let you fly it. Hey, what's he doing? He's just talking. 
the Gramble. Well, well, well. You see him all side eye me as I came up? Oh, I wouldn't have come back if I knew you were here. That's so. Well, I ain't about to leave now. Oh, yeah? Me neither. Then I reckon we're neighbors again. Howdy, neighbor. I got my eye on you, Wambus Trouble Ham. You best keep your eyes on your snacks. <laughs> Seems like they're getting away from you. Charwee, where'd you run off to? Charwee. Charwee. Hey, Wambus. Frick. I think maybe that was different. I don't think that's what this was. I'm going to talk to him anyway. Got time for an interview? It's like 1.30 a.m. and totally not weird. Interview. All right, but keep it short. I got work to do. Of course, obviously. I don't want to be here just as much as you don't, okay? Now, settle down. I'm going to ask you some pretty intense questions. Like, first of all, even though we already know, for the record, who are you? Wambus Troubleham, farmer. Cool. WT for short. Why'd you come to Snacktooth Island, WT? To start a farm. Cool. Can you not start a farm back home? Like I can afford that. Seems like you never had to pay property taxes. <laughs> He's right. What are your thoughts on bug snacks? Open-ended question. Uh, what do I think about bug snacks? They're pesky, tasty, and confusing. Confusing how? Like, uh, mentally? What's so confusing about bug snacks? Well, they ain't animals, and they ain't plants. No organs, no seeds, nothing. And you have to eat them raw, or they turn to mush. Now I call that confusing. Okay, fair enough. By the way, if you guys hear a dog in the background, no, you're not going crazy. That's my dog, little Walty, who I'm about to turn into a bug snack himself. If he, <laughs> he's awesome. I love him. Why did you leave town? Well, when Lisbert vanished, I knew we needed a reliable food source. Without snacks. I figured I'd farm sauce as an alternative. Genius. Though we would have been fine on bug snacks if it weren't for Gramble. And very entrepreneurial. Uh, question. What's your problem with Gramble? That weepy little rancher thinks all bug snacks are his pets. What's wrong with that? He can have some pets. What about your wife? Philbo needs to shut his grumpin' mouth. His best. Triffany is off somewhere poking at skeletons. Triffany. None of my dang business. Poking at skeletons. That sounds, uh, giggity. What happened with Triffany? <sighs> well, when you've been married this long, the little spats just pile up. Doesn't take much to knock them all down. Uh, awkward. Any info on Lisbert, by the way? Respectable type, Elizabeth. We'd trade sauce for snacks now and again. Or plants for Dr. Batternugget to fix his medicine. <gasps> Dr. Batternugget? Who is... Yeah, I... Come on, WT. You know I'm going to ask you about Dr. Batternugget. Oh, that's the town doctor. You know, Egabel. Liz's partner. Oh. Egabel is... Egabel Butternu Batternugget? <laughs> okay, so what happened to Liz Bird exactly? I couldn't say. She was off hunting most of the time. Mm, right. Dangerous work. Could have slipped and fell. Could have got caught in an earthquake. Right. Could have got thrown in a volcano. Or you could have murdered her also. Thanks. <laughs> Seems like a waste of your time. If you want answers, you need hard evidence. Here, I dug this up the other day. I'm thinking it might help you find Elizabeth. Now, back to work. Thanks for making me go through the whole interview for this. Gave you notes about a strange device. Check your journal for the deets. Oh, I will. Hold on. See if I can... Do I have to... Oh. Do I have to talk again? Do you need help? Howdy, stranger. I could use your help with something. Howdy, stranger. See, nobody's figured out how bug snacks reproduce. God. But I got an idea. 
I think I might be able to garden them, grow them in the dirt like plants. Oh, that's actually genius and way less weird than I was thinking. How'd you come by that theory? Well, half of them look like fruit, but I reckon there's more to it than that. Uh-huh. I've seen bug snacks crawl out of the dirt that weren't there before. Fresh and gooey-like. Seems promising to me. All I need to start off is a root and a fruit. <laughs> Should be simple enough. A root and a fruit. A root bug snack and a fruit bug snack. Okay, listen. I will I will do this. But uh we're we're going to have to like Oh, well, this is a side quest. Wow. Okay, we need to go back to dig that dirt. And what was the thing he told us about? Some type of new device? Snackivator? No. Buggy ball? No. We have all the other stuff. Let's see. Clues and leads. Here we go. The door... I can't look at this closer. The door is attached to some ancient mechanisms. It looks like it might have at least... Might take at least three grumpuses to activate these. Weird. Strange device. Okay. Okay. Okay, I see what you're... I see... I see what you're doing. Uh, I'll tell you what. What what time of day is it? It's uh, two thirty one. Bilbo's passed out. These guys aren't using their bed for anything, so I'll use it. And let's do another midnight. Just sleep the entire day because we've been working our butts off in between all these naps we've been having. But I need to figure out. I need to figure out what Wump is is doing. Wambus? Wambi? WT! Where's this house? I name it. Mill house. Donations. Wambus. Wambus. He's. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, no. Farming didn't go so well today. Oh, he's doing Soil's that. Depleted. But I won't give up yet. Uh oh I wonder how your day is going. Oh, Triffy. I miss you so much. I oh, would no. hug your cactus facsimile, but it would only hurt me further. Oh, God. <laughs> don't, don't make eye contact with me. I can't believe I'm going to go rat him out. This is horrible. <sighs> I'm going to do it, but, like, I do feel a little bad. Not like a ton, but like I, I feel kind of bad because he's, I feel like he's depressed, obviously. Lost his wife, he's trying to make her out of a cactus. So, yeah, it's not, it's not a good scene. Oh, this, do I have like Bye. multiple branching storylines here? Like, is there a way that I can avoid s screwing over my entire relationship here? These are main quests, it's gotta happen. Like, it's gotta, it's gotta go down. It's gotta happen. So that I can maybe uh, interview them, I guess. Jeez, oh, I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> Omg, Wambus has a fake cactus wife. Like he wasn't prickly enough already. Ten out of ten, perf dirt. Uh, perf dirt. Snacksburg sounds way more fun than sitting around in this cave. I thought it'd be relaxing, but it's totes boring. Plus, I don't know nearly enough about you yet. Oh, I'm just itching to dig up my dirt. See you around town. Gee. Bestie. God, that couldn't have ended fast enough. Okay. Get Befka back to Snacksburg. She's just going there now. Uh, it's that easy. All I needed to do... She might be actually evil incarnate. All I needed to do was find out a super embarrassing thing about another whatever they're called grumbles or whatever whatever she wanted something bad on someone else and that's all she needed and she's fine that's bad okay we'll see you next time bye now